Welcome to Bam to Racket Review and to the final 2018 test session. And today we have with us racket number 607. And it is a, Nan a Abros Nano 9900 power Bam to Racket. So we've already tested the Abros Z Lite earlier in the year. Uh, we tried the Nano Smash, the Venom, and this is the 9900 Power. And I have to say, Avros keep impressing again and again with their rackets. They are very, very good. On to the specs. So we have got a tension of 30 pounds. That seems to be a common thing with Avros rackets. I think all of them are 30 pound maximum string tension, which is quite healthy for such lightweight frames. Right, so we have a weight of 82 plus or minus 2 grams. The E-Zone testing shows a weight to be 83.9 grams, so that's pretty accurate by Abros. The balance is head 295, so slightly leaning perhaps towards the head, but not by a lot. The E-Zone balance point for this racket shows it at 309 mil, which puts it clearly into the head heavy section, and I would agree in playing with this racket and using it, I would say that the it's definitely towards the head. 309 seems pretty accurate to me. Now, in terms of the shaft flexibility, this is uh, Abros have this down as a medium flex uh, racket. The E zone testing shows it to be a flexible racket, so that it has a flexible shaft. Availability is the same as it is with all of the Abros range. So, the in the within Europe we sell these rackets because they're difficult to uh, access for people in Europe otherwise. So www.badminton-racket-review.com to buy Abros in the UK or in Europe. If you're in Asia, uh, you can get them from Badminton Bay, perhaps a couple of other places. The average price is around £50. And as I've said with the Venom, the Nano Smash, the Z Lite, they do offer very good value for money. It's very difficult to beat uh, their performances at that price range or above. For that matter. Now the design, well, to be honest with you, the design is, um, it, I find their design interesting. It's not amazing. It's not like you're going to look at, you're not going to buy it for the design, but what they do do is they deliver a racket with a simple design, but done well. You know, so imagine if you're, if you know, if you, if you're the designer, the boss comes and listen, we've got to sell this racket at 50 pounds. You can't go over the top with the design. Here, here, choose a color palette, three or four colors, make a design that looks nice, simplistic, professional, and works. I think they delivered that. It actually reminds me of some of the older Yonix rackets in its design, certainly on the shaft. But take a look at these close-up images and see what you think for yourself. Okay, so it is court testing time. Let's go to the E zone court tests. So, here are the Bamton Racket Review E zone key points for testing. Firstly, all rackets are restrung with the same string, or they were, but this is now no longer being made, so we will be shifting to this string from 2019. All rackets are restrung to 25 pounds of tension. All rackets, 25 pounds of tension. We use the same shuttles, the Yonix AS30s for the control, maneuver, and smash test. The player in the smash test uses the same velocity or same power, or as much as is humanly possible to do so, for each test. The control test, obviously it's the same player with the same abilities. And the maneuver test, well, it's a fairly isolated range of movement in fairness. That's all the key information for you. Let's get back to the court testing. The E-Zone Smash Test is first on the list. The E-Zone Smash Test is designed to reveal the racket's smashing potential, which measures the shuttle speed in kilometers per hour, and also gives us the relative speed of the racket head it's a great test. Let's do it now. It's
it's the ESO maneuver test time. Uh, in this test, we want to see what maximum speed the racket can achieve from rest. In this test, we measure the head speed of the racket, recording the fastest speed achieved in kilometers per hour. The player is isolated to move the racket in only one direction, which is upwards, from a rest position as quickly as possible. It's E-Zone control test time, let's do it now. In this test, we place four large buckets in front of the player. He aims for the green bucket every time. Every shuttle in the green bucket scores maximum. Shuttles going into the gray bucket score less and anything in the net or out doesn't score at all. The clip we show you here is half or less of the total test that we do. So all testing is complete on this racket and what do we think of it? Well it delivers in every area. It's powerful, it's quick, it's good control, it has a good power to weight ratio, good power to speed ratio. It is brilliant, 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 brilliant. At 50 pounds, it's virtually impossible to find a racket that can give you a better performance, honestly speaking. And, um, you know, Abrox have proven to be very good. The only thing I would say, if there's only one, anything negative to say about it, I'd say for racket, of this weight class, there are other rackets that just feel that a little bit quicker through the air, but other than that, it is brilliant in every area. Defensively, drive-wise, overhead, smash power is an awesome, awesome racket. It represents the best possible value for money that I've seen in a long, long time. Definitely goes on the thumbs up recommended list. Now, if you want to see all of the spec for yourself, if you want to see, uh, hear the full review of this racket, go to the E-Zone, 199 to 999 is the price. This is what you're going to get when you arrive at the website and how to navigate yourself through to the E zone.
Thanks again for tuning in today. Your support is super, super appreciated. We really appreciate uh, the likes we're getting on Instagram, the support on Facebook, the support on YouTube, and it's great to see uh, people coming onto the E-Zone, becoming members, and finding great value on the E-Zone platform, which is, at the end of the day, the greatest Bampton Racket Review platform on the planet in the history of the sport. We, it's taken a long time to put that together, a lot of hard work, and every year we're adding more and more rackets. This year, 2018, we've added 45 new rackets to the E-Zone, and next year we're planning to do the same. Thanks for tuning in today. See you next time.